Hi, welcome to the course titled Building Real-Time REST APIs with Spring Boot. Here I have mentioned real-time because we are going to use real-time industry standard approach for building the REST APIs using Spring Boot. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Ramesh and I am working as a tech lead in some IT company. And I am a founder and author at Java Guides blog website which has around 1 million views per month. And I am also a YouTuber at Java Guides having 43,000 subscribers and I have published around 200 plus free projects on GitHub and I have around 2,000 followers on GitHub. Well, let's take a look into what you will learn in this course. We will learn how to build real-time REST APIs for blog application using Spring Boot, Spring Security, JWT, Spring Data JPA and MySQL database. You will learn how to create a real-time Spring Boot application. And you will learn how to build real-time REST APIs using real-time industry standard approach. Okay, and you will learn how to develop good REST APIs for different resources and how to develop real-time REST APIs which has one to many relationship. For example, one post have multiple comments and we are going to use a real-time industry standard approach guys. And you will also learn how to build login api and how to build register sign up rest api and look at your login rest api return jwt token and you will learn how to build sign up or register api okay next you will learn how to develop jpa entities and how to maintain one to many many to many mapping in jpa entities you will learn how to configure spring security you will learn how to secure your REST endpoints using JWT token. You will learn how to perform a role-based authentication. And you will learn how to add a security for REST endpoints, free authorized annotation to provide role-based authentication for REST endpoints. Okay. And you will learn how to handle exceptions in REST APIs and you will learn how to validate REST and REST API requests. Okay, and you will learn how to use DTOs to transfer data between client and server. Okay, you will learn how to develop Spring Data JPA repositories and how to add, you know, Spring Data JPA custom queries. Okay, and you will learn how to use JWT token in Spring Security and how to write JWT filters. Okay, next you will learn how to develop a service layer in Spring application. So next you will learn how to configure Swagger in our Spring Boot application and how to document Spring Boot REST APIs using Swagger. Okay, next you will learn how to use Lombok annotation to reduce a boilerplate code Next, you will learn how to add profiles in our Spring Boot application to deploy our Spring Boot application on different environments like dev environment, production environment, QA environment. And finally, you will learn how to deploy our Spring Boot blog application on production that is on AWS Cloud. You will learn how to test REST APIs using Swagger UI and you will also learn how to configure JWT token in Swagger UI and test all other REST APIs. Okay, and finally, you will learn how to deploy our Spring Boot blog application on AWS Cloud. Let's take a look into what is the prerequisites for this course. Well, you should have a good understanding of Core Java and Java 8 features like Lambda expression, Stream APIs, etc. You should have understanding of how to use IntelliJ IDEA. Because we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA for building Spring Boot project and you should have basic understanding of Spring Core fundamentals or Spring Core basics like dependency injection, Spring Beans and configuration styles like Java Base configuration, annotation configuration and you should have understanding of Spring Boot basics. So I am not going to cover Spring Boot basics. We are only focusing on building a real time REST APIs using Spring Boot. Okay. But I'm, if you are new to Spring Boot, then I highly suggest you guys to go through my YouTube channel. Over there, I have published a free complete course for Spring Boot beginners around 50 plus videos. How to get most out of this course? Well, I strongly suggest you guys 
to start coding with me so every concept I, I have shown line by line coding okay I highly suggest you guys to just start coding with me so that you will get a hands-on experience on building real-time REST APIs using Spring Boot.